Hello, everyone. It's time for Van Chicago Land Stories, the podcast. I'm your host, Pico Stanis. This is episode 261, season 11. Today's date is October 1st, 2023. And welcome to the program. Yes, I am back for another episode. Uh, two episodes in one weekend. On today's program, I will talk about the Aladdin's Castle Funhouse at Riverview Park in Chicago. And also, I will talk about my memories of Tonka toy trucks that I had in the 1970s. Oh, those are great toys. So I'll talk about my memories of that. Uh, right now, the program will go into a commercial break. This program is brought to you by Hamburger Helper. <laughs> I I don't know why I chose that. It's... Uh, I was working on a podcast yesterday, and that was the first thing that popped in my head. <laughs> so, okay. So, uh, this this commercial is from 1979, and it features the the helping hand. I'll talk a little bit about him. So, sit back and relax, and I'll be right back with the program. Thank you, everyone. Meat prices are sky high, and I'm trying to keep my food budget down to earth. Hi, I can help. The helping hand from Hamburger Helper. At your service. You can help me save. Sure, because Hamburger Helper can help you turn just one pound of hamburger into a delicious hearty dish in a snap. Enough for your whole family. Mom, this tastes good. And it keeps your budget from getting out of hand. Hamburger Helper, when you need a helping hand. Wait, are you gaming on a Chromebook? Yep, it's got a high-res 120 hertz display, plus this killer RGB keyboard. And I can access thousands of games anytime, anywhere. Stop playing. What? Get out of here. Huh? Yeah, I want you to stop playing and get out of here so I can game on that Chromebook. Got it. Go ahead, break it down real Discover the ultimate cloud gaming machine, a new kind of Chromebook. Okay, everyone, I am back. I hope you enjoyed the commercial for Hamburger Helper. Uh, let me give you a little history of this product. Uh, this was introduced in 1971 from Betty Crocker. Uh, it was uh, it consists of pasta or rice with powdered seasonings, and you combine the content the contents of the box with ground beef mostly hamburger, of course, <laughs> and uh, you add water or milk just to enhance the flavor. <laughs> it's very starchy, but it's delicious. Yeah. Uh, to tell you the truth, uh, my mother never bought this. I don't think she ever had because uh, she makes a recipe. It's a Greek recipe. It's called macaroni makima. That means uh, it's spaghetti or macaroni with ground beef. And it's a Greek delic a Greek dish, and it's delicious, and uh, it's one of my all time favorites. Uh, I've had it in restaurants; it's not the same, but when my mom makes it, it is wonderful. As a matter of fact, I had something. I had this. Uh, I visited a friend of my mom's for lunch, and she had that, and it was very good, but not that much tomato sauce. Uh, that was okay, you know. The only thing missing was cheese. You know, you put a little cheese on it, like Parmesan. Or there's a Greek cheese that I uh, call kefalotiri. You know, put it around like that, which is wonderful. I know it's salty. It's not good for you. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, like I said, it was one of, it's one of my favorites. Uh, t as a matter of fact, I'm going to have the leftovers tonight for dinner, <laughs> which is fine. And it came with a lot of variety of flavors. Uh, for example, not just the hamburger helper. There was tuna helper that came out a year later, 1972. There was a fruit helper with uh, canned fruit, fresh fruit. Uh, that didn't last long. Also, there was chicken helper that came uh, in 1984. You use a chick boneless chicken breast. That sounds good. Also, Asian helper, whole grain helper, that's with uh, lemon and herb chicken, honey mustard. You can uh, cheeseburger mac, you know, like like macaroni and cheese. Beef stroganoff. Oh, I love beef stroganoff. Also, there was pork uh, 
helper that didn't last long it was like uh pork fried rice and pork chops and it was stuff didn't work also they had uh they had hamburger help microwave singles so you pop one you know you put water in you put it in the microwave you heat it up uh, that didn't last long and uh that it was introduced in 2006 and then uh just less than a year but they brought it back in a few about 10 years ago you know so i don't know about that so uh <laughs> like that uh so the mascot of the of the of the product uh, his name was the helping hand or lefty Oh, he had two names. So he had, uh, he was a four fingered uh, left white hand. It was like a glove with a face, and he had like a bozo the clown nose. And he talk, and he's walking around. He has no legs. <laughs> he's kind of cute. I like him. You know, like that. And uh, let's see what else. Um, other products, you know, if you go to the website for Hamburger Helper, they have all the pr- uh, products. Like, for example, um let's see so they had uh you know here uh like ground beef of course uh they had chicken fried rice uh ch- fed- fed- chicken fettuccine alfredo oh that's fattening good cheeseburger mac- macaroni stroganoff i mentioned that ranch and bacon sweet barbecue bacon cheeseburger beef pasta cheddar cheese melt Cheesy Italian shells. Oh, that sounds good. Cheesy hash browns. Cheesy enchilada. Cheesy beef pasta or t- and like that. Oh, they had ranch burger, a crunchy taco, chili macaroni, double cheeseburger. Oh, that sounds good. That's that's up my alley. <laughs> uh, they also had the lasagna, Salisbury steak, uh, potatoes stroganoff. Yeah, like that. Uh, yeah, lasagna, spaghetti, uh, tomato, basil, penny, uh, tuna with a creamy pasta, also tuna with creamy broccoli. Also, they had tuna fettuccine alfredo, and of course tetrazzini. I love tetrazzini. So it's so the product's still around. So it's it's great. The reason they made this, you know, because this is in the seventies, and inflation was sky high. Yeah, we. Are, we know how it is now. So, you know, but it was awful back then. It's still awful now. So, uh, you know, when you have a family and you're on a budget, this is perfect for you. And it works. It really does. So, uh, it's available wherever. You know, a Jewel, Target, any grocery store, you know, just pick up a box. Make yourself dinner. <laughs> Okay. At the beginning of the program, I mentioned I'm going to talk about the Aladdin's Castle Funhouse at Riverview Park in Chicago. Also, I'll talk about my uh, memories of Tonka Toys, the the trucks in the 1970s. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, first off, uh, before I get started, I want to mention one thing. Uh, I'm still getting uh, comments from people of something I posted the other day uh, that I mentioned on my group on Bad Chicago land that uh, I don't want any profanity. I don't want any fighting political. I will approve and no multiple posts, you know, and the most, almost everyone, maybe 99% agree with me, you know, cause we see, like, for example, uh, they put the, the blues brothers, they put, uh, you know, like when sig- the sig- signature room calls, I seen about like 10 posts. No, that's, I don't want to do that. Also, they put something with the Halloween sign. Nah, that's not funny. <laughs> it's like that. I think a lot of people want to see something different. And you know what I've noticed with people send over, like their family photos or something they've had something for their keepsakes, you know, like in their house, in their, you know, their drawers, their closets, their attics. And, they, you know, they dig them out and they post them. That is beautiful. That I want to see. And so does everyone else, you know, and uh, that's kind of cool. So rare things about uh, that happened in Chicago or anything, any items that's a, that's absolutely accept, acceptable. And a lot of people would love to see that, you know, 
And uh, of course, I don't allow controversial things, like, for example, like Al Capone. I know he's part of Chicago history, but that leads to arguments. Also, Maxwell Street. I know it's part of history, but that leads to argument. It's awful. I've seen I've seen it many times, and it just it's terrible. Also, po- politics. You know, like with mayor for mayor today. You know, the mayors today. You know, the mayor today. The former mayors. You know, Richard Day Daly and all that. Or anything like, you know, that involves that. So no, because it's uh. The members in my group are wonderful, but there might be a few uh, a few of them that are bots or spammers or wise guys. <laughs> you know, they just want to say something. Or people from out of town who haven't been in Chicago for many, many years or people who have never set foot here. You know, they don't know what they're talking about. They just want to, you know, like stir the pot. <laughs> That's not a lot like that. So, um, but thank you again, everyone, for your comments and all that. I had one person, he accused me of being a Democrat. (laughs) I guess I'm doing this fine. (laughs) I don't want to discuss that. (laughs) That's not allowed. Okay. Yeah. So I want to thank again for the comments from everyone. I appreciate them. They, you know, everyone is very kind, you know, it uh, really does good to me. And I am here to entertain, to make things right, to have a nice, clean, fun group. Sounds dull, but it works. <laughs> you know, if you want a little excitement, well, I suggest you go elsewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is. Okay, so let's get started. And I'm going to talk about the Aladdin's Castle Funhouse at Riverview Park. Okay, so... Um, as I said before, many times, I've never been to Riverview when it closed. I was about three years old. I was, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, they announced they closed it. At the It's the 56th anniversary this week that they announced they're going to shut it down. I think it's that. Yeah. So uh, that happened on October 3rd or 4th, something like that. And uh, there was no uh, next season of that. So uh, they put everything in auction. And they uh, dismantle everything. That's a shame. Uh, they should be in a museum or somewhere. <laughs> no. So that didn't happen. So one of the uh, the most famous attractions, besides the Bob's roller coaster, was Aladdin's Castle Funhouse. And when you when you went to Review Park in the old days, and you went to the entrance, you could not help notice that big. Uh, Aladdin figure that man, you know, he was uh, an Arab, an Arab wearing Arabian costume with those big eyes. And uh, I forgot something that you know, when you saw those eyes, they go back and forth, you know, like in the old movies when you went to a haunted house and you saw a painting and you and the eyes were moving. So, in the Three Stooges a lot, or Abbott Costello. <laughs> So, yeah, that's what happened over there, you know, and uh, it wasn't a scary place. It wasn't a haunted house. It was just a fun house, you know. So, um, according to the book, excuse me, um, but the book called Laugh Your Troubles Away, that was, uh, the author was Derek G. and uh, Ralph Lopez. They, uh, he co-wrote the book and they... It had the complete history of Riverview Park. I love this book. I read it about five times already, and I want to read it again. So it's it's, it's explains the history of the of the park when it started, when it closed, and all the attractions. And I did find about the Fun House. And uh, here's something interesting about this. Uh, and then uh, so. They built the fun house, and that was built in 1932. That's, I'm sure it was that. And uh, in the original blueprints of the building was drawn by an engineer. His name, his name was Julius Floto, and it was first going to call Bluebeard's Castle. So uh, 
they changed they changed their minds and it wasn't very scary so uh well, I'm sorry, you know, they thought that Bluebeard's castle was very scary, you know, a pirate going, ah, and, you know, with a sword and <laughs> like that. So uh, they ch- evidently they changed uh, to a scary name, and they changed it to Aladdin's castle. And then uh, it became a fun house, and it had the usual features of what all fun houses had. Like, for example, they had the uh, mirror rooms. So you go in there and, you know, like the Hall of Mirrors, you would see yourself fat, you would see yourself skinny, you would see your face distorted. <laughs> you know, uh, that would boost my confidence if I see if I see myself skinny. And then I would lose um, lose my morale if I became very, very overweight. <laughs> so, yeah, they had, it had that and uh, slanted for floors, pitch black passages. Air jets in the stairs, slides, and at the end, they had a rotating a rotating barrel. And you would like try, to, you would run or walk, or you would fall down, just like a hamster in a in a cage, you know, with a wheel, you know, like that. Which is hilarious. I've seen pictures of this, and it's uh, it's hilarious, you know. But it seems like a lot of people had fun back then, in those days. And then, um. So they had a huge portrait of Aladdin gracing the front entrance and the the structure of the building looks like a fortress, you know, something like, uh, yeah, real cool like that. And uh, a lot of people didn't get scared. Now, I've heard some stories from people where they had the air jets and the stairs and then in, in the old days, Women wore dresses, not like today. And then when they went there, they you know, they had their skirts would go up. <laughs> I heard they did this in Coney Island in New York. I don't know if they do it now. Can you imagine this sort of thing would happen today? I don't think so. No, 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 no. <laughs> There'll be a lot of protests, a lot of angry women. And I don't blame them, you know, you know, the, it was fun, but you know, but it's fun when you watch it, you know, it's like watching a Benny Hill skit. <laughs> yeah. There was one skit in Benny Hill where Benny Hill was, uh, he was a conductor of a band and there was a guy with a tuba and there was a woman playing a flute, but she was on a pedestal and the guy blew the tuba and he kept blowing her skirt up. <laughs> I know it's funny, but you can't help it. So that opened in 1932, and uh, it was there until the day it closed in 1967. And uh, so I don't know what they did with it. Uh, I heard the Hall of Mirrors went somewhere, uh, went to a club uh in palatine that's according to wikipedia i don't know if it's true or not i don't know i, don't know. I saw one uh hall of mirror i saw one mirror that was on sale on ebay years ago yeah it was years ago and uh i guess somebody has it in their house which is kind of cool that's nice like that and uh so that's one of the the attractions at Riverview Park that was the most memorable. I mean, there were the the roller coasters, you know, the bobs, also the flying turns, uh, the fireball, uh, the parachutes, you know, like that. Uh, I can't think, you know, Riverview Park has so many rides and attractions. I, you know, my mind is so full. I can't think of all of them. You know, it's, it's crazy. You know, and it's one of my favorite things to post on Van Chicago Land. I still do it on Facebook, on X, Twitter. You know, I love seeing uh, that. I love. Uh, I wish I could find more color photos. You know, most are black and white. So, you know, I'll keep searching. Okay. Right now, I'm going to talk about the Tonka tro- toys, uh, the toy trucks. That is. Uh, I had these when uh, in the 1970s. I'll talk about my memories of having them. Uh, I'll talk about the history of that. Uh, the Tonka Company was founded in Mound, Minnesota, uh, June 22, 1946. 
the founders were uh, the first man. His name was Lee Lynn Everett Baker. The other one was Avery F. Crowns and Elvin F. F. Tesh. And uh, let's see what else. So it started as a, a gardening tool company called uh, Mound Met- Metalcraft. And uh, so they patented several toys, including toy trucks. So they and they created this company in an old schoolhouse in Mound, Minnesota. So uh, and then it just took off, and then uh, they distributed over the United States. And I, my first memory of uh, seeing a Tonka truck was uh, when I lived in Ro- the Rosa neighborhood in Chicago. Uh, in the early 1970s, and uh, Gately's People's Store had a toy store in the basement, a very small toy store, and they had these toys on display. And uh, that's a great memory when you're when you're a child, and it's a beautiful memory. So uh, right now, I'm going to play the commercial for Tonka Toy Trucks, and this is from 1974. And uh, when I come back, I'll talk about the the trucks that I had as a child. Uh, I didn't have that many, but I'll, I'll list most of them. And uh, so uh, it won't take very long. So here's the Tonka Toy commercial from 1974. So sit back and relax. I'll be right back with the program. Thank you, everyone. Okay, everybody, let's go. Give your children Tonka toys and you've started something. They're fun and they last. So very few families who have Tonka toys have only one. In fact, the average is seven per family. Now honestly, when was the last time you parents were so happy with a product you wanted to have six more of them? Okay, everyone, I am back. I hope you enjoyed the commercial for Tonka Toy Trucks from 1974. I'll give you a list of the toy. Well, um, first I'm going to do something. Uh, They had a catalog out, and it was called the Tonka Lookbook. Uh, That was published, uh, it started in the 1950s and lasted through the 70s, and uh, they showed uh, all the toys listed and uh, shown, you know, photographed. It explains what kind of toys. So um, I have the Tonka lookbook from 1969. That was about the time that I had the uh, uh, some of the toys I had. So I'm going to get started right now. And uh, let's see what we got. Uh, the ones, well, on the first, the first one, uh, I didn't have any, but I'll tell you what they had. They had the, they had the tink. Uh, Tiny Tonka Dozer, the Fun Buggy, the Tiny Tonka Pickup Truck. I had that. Uh, They had the Tiny Tonka Dump Steak. That was like a dump truck. Also a station wagon and also a van. Okay. Okay, Next page, we have uh, a dump truck, a wrecker, cement mixer. Um, a garbage truck, also a uh, pumper, which is like a fire truck, also a car carrier. Uh, I saw mo- I saw most of these at Gately's People Store, uh, Michigan Avenue, and Roseland. I saw these, and uh, I'll tell you which ones I had. Uh, as I said before, okay. Also, they had the bottom dump. They had the uh, aerial ladder. You know, it's a uh, like a fire truck, Lobo and Dozer. It's like a, you know, you place the bulldozer on a truck like that. Also, they had uh, sets of trucks, uh, transportation set, construction set, uh, gift set, you know, like that. I remember those. Uh, I remember the commercials. They had that. Uh, they had fun buggies, Jeeps. Uh, let's see what else. A beach, a beach buggy, a pickup truck. Uh, you know, a dump truck. Seen that. Okay. Next up, we got uh, Highway Patrol. It was like a station wagon. Uh, fire Chief uh, station wagon. Uh, a fire truck, a regular fire truck. 
Uh, let's see, a, 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 a mini Tonka camper. They had a mini Tonka grader and also a cement mixer. And they had that. Ah, let's see what we got here. Uh, they had a wagoneer and trailer, um, a garbage truck. They had a pickup and a horse trailer. Remember that. Also a mini Tonka trencher. Got that. Ah, here we go. Uh, they had the a scraper, fire department set, uh, stables set, contractor set, you know, the trucks. Uh, they had a Volkswagen, Tonka. Oh, now here we go. These are the two I had. I had a mini Tonka car carrier, but it was in a green color, and it was the most beautiful green truck I ever saw, and I loved it like that. But my all-time favorite uh, Tonka truck, toy was the allied van lines moving truck yeah i had that my mom bought this and my brothers for christmas i think it was like 1971 72 something like that and we played with this hours and like that oh it was a lot of fun you know we played with a moving truck and we put uh put things in the back you know pretend we were moving you know going from going to from our old house to our new house and uh, we played that. Oh, me and my brothers, we played it in our apartment above the shoe store where we live. Uh, it was a beautiful truck. You know, I wanted to get that on eBay <laughs> in mint condition. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I have room in my house to do it, but I, I'm still mulling it over. So we'll see. But it was beautiful. You know, like the Ally Van Lines, it has a logo number one, US, USA number one, like that. It was black and the truck was orange. It's a beautiful toy. Beautiful toy, indeed. Like that. Okay, let's see what else we had. Um, they had the Jeep, Jeepster pickup, a sports convertible, convertible, convertible sedan, pickup truck. Uh, of course, a bulldozer. I said that before. Okay, I'm trying to see anything different. Uh, they had a lifeguard Jeep. Uh, a style side pickup, a dune buggy. Uh, they had a wrecker with a plow, uh, like a you know, like a snow plow. Also, a, a take a horse fan, but it was not a. a it's not tied to a trailer. It's like you put the horses in a van. Do that. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, they had a jeepster runabout. You have attached a boat, you know, a hydraulic dump. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, that's the same. Let's see what we got. Uh, you have a dump and sand loader, and also a big uh, garbage truck. You know, they, they, they've changed like that. They're mostly they're the same things, but they, some are bigger, some are smaller. You know, like that. Uh, they had the car carriers, but uh, this one was not green. It was yellow. I still like green. Uh, they had a bottom drop, bottom dump truck. Also, uh, the they had a snorkel pumper, you know, for um, fire trucks. They had that, and it came with a, a fire hydrant. Like that. Let's see, we're almost done. Uh, nothing new. Uh, just r Tonka shovels, uh, Tonka loader, bulldozers, you know, anything construction like that you know if you pretend you own a construction company you know with the trucks and that's what it was let's see what else oh uh, we also have the tonka scraper uh mighty tonka crane uh now another tonka car carrier but this was bigger and it was yellow and tonka hard hat you had a hard hat you know pretend you're uh, in the cons your construction where you wear your tonka hat <laughs> it's kind of cool and uh, so I guess that's it. Now, the according to the website that I found, the the Tonka tr tr uh, toys, uh, the Tonka lookbook, excuse me, they had uh, this started in 1948 and lasted to about 1975, I guess, unless uh, the person that created a website, this is all they could find, you know, but I, I have a feeling that's how long it lasted. So it lasted about... Uh, 27 years <laughs> not very long like that so that's kind of nice and uh 
I had great memories playing with these toys. And they're still made to this day. Yeah, they're still made. Uh, uh, they've been bought by other companies. Like, for example, Hasbro brought it uh, uh, from 1991. And then Funrise Toys bought it. And then uh, last year, it was Basic Fun. And the, well, no, not last year. It was, uh, they were bought in 2020. You know, so uh, let's see what else. Uh, they had video games also, they were released between 1996 and 2006, and they were interactive. Uh, I never played video games with these, so um, I didn't know. <laughs> so that's uh, that's kind of funny, okay? So, uh yeah, so they're still in business. So you can find Tonka toys uh, in Walmart, Amazon. Uh, I just heard the news Toys R Us are coming back. Uh, they're opening a few stores here. I think they're going to open one in Macy's downtown in Chicago. I don't know. But they'll be standalone stores. We need toy store toy stores here. We need them. You know, it's a shame. You know, it's fun to go to a toy store you know, to browse. It is beautiful. And as an adult, you have great memories of doing that. It gives you a nice, uh, warm, nostalgic feeling. It certainly does. Okay. So that's it for this program. Uh, do a recap of what I talked about. I talk about the Aladdin's Castle Funhouse at Riverview Park in, in Chicago. Also, I talk about my memories of the Tonka toy trucks in the 1970s. And uh, let's see, uh, this podcast will be published this afternoon, uh, wherever podcasts are available. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, Breaker, Overcast. I've mentioned this many times. Please subscribe. Also be posted on my blog, VanishChicagoLand.blog. Also on my YouTube channel, at VanishChicagoLand Stories of Podcast. Please subscribe. Again. A lot of people have asked me, where do I, where do you, where do I find your podcast? Go to YouTube. It's much easier. You know, do it on your desktop, do it on your tablet or your laptop. You will find it and you'll find the rest of the episodes there. They're right there for you to listen. Choose anyone you like. And also be posted on my social media accounts, Facebook and Twitter. And also, well, Twitter sex. I still go to Twitter. And also uh, Instagram and threads, uh, the link will be there if you care to listen. Also TikTok. If you're on TikTok, you know, help yourself. You know, uh, I'm at that age, I'm not a TikTok person. <laughs> I've, I have browse through TikTok, you know, with their, on the feed. It, there's all kinds of dancing videos, all kinds of goofy videos with animals, babies. It's fun to watch, but I don't know. I think it'd be a little innovative with Van Chicago Land to do TikTok. I don't know. We'll see about that. Okay. So uh, this is Pika Science, your host of Van Chicago Land Stories, the podcast. Thank you for joining me today. This is the first day of October. Uh, as we say to Greek people, Kalomina. Uh, I will have another podcast episode on Tuesday, and it's a very special one for me. Because I, on Wednesday, October 4th, is my birthday, and I turned 60 years old. It seems like yesterday I was at Korea's Elementary uh, at recess, playing in the playground with the kids, and we're playing uh, Bombardment, you know, dodgeball. <laughs> Where did the time go? So for that episode, on two six, uh, episode 262, I will talk about, uh, it'll be a surprise. Yeah, so I'll have something special for, it'll be special for me and for you. Okay, so I'm signing off right now. Here's uh, Ray Rainer with a little traveling music saying bye, bye, bye. Take care, everyone, and so long. We have to go. Bye, bye, bye.